Hi guys, this is Dom from Yamaha, NAM 2018, and today I want to talk to you about the version 2 OS update for the montage. Before I even start talking, I want to play a sound for you so that you can hear the sheer power of the synthesis engines. So everything you just heard was one single performance and I have this control over all these parameters at once because now you can assign everything to the Supernova very, very easily. It's just one button away. You just press control assign and you can assign basically every parameter that you want. This sound was using the AWM2 engine but also the FMX engine. So I have total control over bringing in my oscillators, you know, reverbs, I can bring in different layers with the super knob, and of course I can control the super knob with the FC7 pedal. Now what's new in version 2? We have 99 new performances, and they're really, really tailored to, you know, studio work, live work. For example, one of my favorite ones when I was just browsing through them is this one. I just modified it a little bit, and I came up with this thing. So if you want, you can go back to the 70s, you know, just to recreate the sounds from analog synths. But if you want to go, you know, a little bit more current, there's a sound for you in there. So you have something like this. Again, I do all my build-ups using the super knob, really, really easy. Again, these are all sounds from the new version, from the new operating system. This is a little bit more experimental, this is called the prepared piano, I really like the sound. So if you're scoring a horror film, perfect for that. We also have some sounds that are really good production elements, so you can incorporate them into your music if you're doing electronic music. For example, build-ups like this one. And this, of course, will sync to your tempo. So if you are setting your DAW in a specific tempo, this will sync and you have several versions uh, across the keyboard. Of course, if you already have the montage and you haven't visited yamahasynths.com yet, you're really missing out because since its initial launch, there are quite a few libraries that you can download for free. For example, this Bosendorfer piano. Very, very different sound to the CFX. That's a big library.
We also have a library called um, Montage Expanded that has amazing sounds from analog sounds to FM sounds, for example, this one. This one, this is one of my favorites. Oh, this guy. You know, all these things. We also have FM sounds in this library. You know, of course the FM sounds all use the FMX engine, so they're real FM sounds, they're no samples. A huge thing in this update is that now you can load all your Motif sounds, your Motif XS, your Motif XF sounds, straight into the montage. Now what's great about it is of course you can still use all your legacy sounds th that you might love, but they will sound actually better on the montage because now you have the pure analog circuit there, great converters, the new DSP, so even the same sounds will sound better, fuller, wider, and I'm gonna play a sound from the Mox, for example. Or you can have this sound. This is one of my favorite sounds from the Mox. But of course now with the montage you can have your layers right here so you can bring in your parts or remix those sounds. So actually you can use those sounds in a much easier fashion than before. So now we also have the FM converter tool, uh, you can find it at yamahasyn.com and basically you can load the ROM from the DX7, the DX7 II, the TX802, the TX816 uh, and basically all the sounds you can load them straight into the montage. And why is it so important? Well first of all you get all the sounds, for example let's say You know, these classic FM sounds, and of course, when you take these sounds in the, into the montage, you're immediately into the realm of the FMX engine, so that means that you have all those new features of this powerful engine, so well, that means that you can make those sounds modern. That's the same sound, but I can add some reverb, the new spiralizer effects that was introduced in previous update. So I can have a very typical sound and then make it new. A uh, well, few more sounds. Again, this is like the sound straight from the DX7 and now you can add some LFOs, a little bit of reverb. Turn it into something completely different. A few more sounds. Now at this point I want to mention that the number of songs have increased. So basically we used to have 64, now we have 128. That's really useful for people who are using those songs and they want to sketch down ideas. But we also have, you know, total control of the operators when you're using the FM sounds. 
So this is like a bell sound, very, very classic. Now. So I can do FM synthesis in real time. I can control the operators like this with those sliders right here. Very, very easy, something that you couldn't quite do on the DX7. So it's a big thing. Of course, we still have the big orchestral sounds. Other new things, we have, as I said, very, very easy control of the super knob. Now, whatever parameter you're at, you can just touch it, then hit control assign, and then it's assigned to your super knob. Very, very quick. So you can do sound design on the fly. It's very, very easy. Uh, you can also change the fonts uh, on the display. So if you have trouble reading the fonts, now you can make them larger. We also have you can also record your audition phrases, your custom audition phrases. That's great. It sounds like a small thing, but it's very, very useful, especially if you're doing sound design and you want to have a custom phrase and then you want to tweak the sound until it's where you want it. Of course, if you have a montage, you have loads of sounds to choose from. There are quite a few third party libraries. There's um, a library called FM Experience from Easy Sounds, and it sounds amazing. All the sounds are made using the FMX engine, no samples, no AWM2 engine. I'm just gonna play a few of the sounds so that you can listen to how it sounds. This one also includes drums. Even the drums are FM sounds. sounds. Great programming as well. Amazing library. We also have another library called Fat Analog 3. Again, amazing sounds. Like Basses. The last thing I'm going to show you is just a quick demonstration of how far you can take FM synthesis and how, you know, economical you can be with your layers, your parts. This is a single FM part, right? So this is a custom sound I created from scratch, but it's a very typical 80s kind of brass sound, right? Now, when I go down, I get a completely different sound. I get a growly kind of... And then up. And this is because I have all these tools to program those sounds. This is just a single sound, no splits, nothing whatsoever. That's why it blends so well when I go down the keyboard. And of course with the super knob I can go from this growly sound to sub. We also have a new update for the TNRI and the TNRE apps. And basically, if you don't know what they are, they emulate the classic Tenori on. Uh, that's a very, very cool instrument. It lets you create music in a very different way. And I'm going to show you a few things. For example, I have a groove going on here. I have different blocks. 
But what I can do now is I can go to my menu right here and go to my recording menu, go audio, standby. And once I start playing, the app will record audio. So let's go here, hit start. my effects in real time. Now I can hit stop right here and I immediately have a file name. So I can rename my file, call it NAM 2018, hit done, save it. And now we have a new feature where the app allows me to upload straight to Ali Hoopa. So if I go to my file menu in my audio tab, I will see that I have all my audio files that I've recorded. So if I go to my, where's my NAM 2018, like this, I can hit the I icon, and then I go upload. I can upload to Ali Hoopa, to SoundCloud. And if you don't know what Ali Hoopa is, it's a very vibrant community where you can upload your music and you can collaborate with people. It's very, very cool. So drop to Ali Hoopa. I can even add a cover to this. I can add tags so that people can find the music, what they're looking for. Drop and we're doing it as we speak. So that's the new update for the Tenori i and the Tenori e apps.